All right, we'll do our usual standing warm up. Since I've looked it up and there's really no good alternatives for warming up. So we'll just stick with what we've got. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, spread out those toes, sitting bones down, feel that pelvis open, shoulders back and down, and crown toward the ceiling. Take a moment to focus inward. Let your belly move as you breathe. But remember, you want to keep it toned so that you're supporting your spine. As you exhale, let the tension go. And just be in your yoga perspective, internally focused. Inhale, arms at shoulder level, stretch out to keep the shoulders down. Hands to your heart, elbows back, keep the chest open. Inhale, bring your arms forward, but still those shoulders stay down. And then bring your hands behind and clasp the fingers, lift your heart, stretch your spine. And then exhale, pivot at your hips, come on over. Let that lower back begin stretching. Move your head around, get the neck released a little bit. And then with your knees bent and your chin in, start at the bottom of your spine and just wind back all the way up and into an upper body back bend. Shoulders down, head back, chest high. Keep breathing, make sure you're not gripping with your toes. And then inhale to the top, exhale, release your arms. Take a moment feeling that circulation increase and energy flow. And again, arms are reaching out, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, shoulders down, and then clasp your hands the opposite way so it shifts them over one finger and lift your heart. Press the hands toward the floor, keeping those shoulders open. Exhale over. And again, bring the hands up as high as they want to go for your shoulders today. And relax as you're in that forward position. And then inhaling again, slowly coming up. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, stretch your head back, spread your toes out, no grip. The nice upper body back bend. And then inhale upright, release your arms, and just take a moment feeling your energy and warming up. And we'll do our side stretch. So arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, but shoulders down. Pass your hands, clasp them, and bring your arms back next to your ears. Stretch up through the head and the fingers, sitting bones down, and lean over to the side. So feel the ribs open on the side you're leaning away from. Feel the contraction on that opposite side. Check to make sure your shoulder isn't leaning forward. You want to be straight over to the side. And then push the foot you're leaning away from down a little deeper to get that stretch emphasized. And then inhale back up and keep those shoulders down as you switch your hands around. Bring the arms near your ears, stretch everything nice and straight and long as you lean to the opposite side. And again, only go as far as it feels right on this side. Check your positioning and emphasize that foot down and head and hands out. Breathe, just relax. And again, inhaling, come back up and release back to mountain. Take a moment there, feeling again what's going on through the sides this time. We did that lateral side, spine motion. And then arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands again above your shoulders, clasp your elbows for our twist. So remember, sitting bones down, base of the spine and base of the skull stretch apart for that twist. And exhale to one side. Take a breath in, and on the exhalation, come on over in the twist, and relax. Arms still near your ears, sitting bones lifting, and don't forget to breathe. And then after a few breaths, just work your way slowly up in the twist and into that upper body only for the back bend. Always remember, careful with your low back in the twist. 
Elbows back, shoulders down, chest high. Take a few breaths, just relaxing. Inhale to the top, exhale around to the center and switch your arms. And again, lengthen everything for the other side. Then twist to the other direction, another breath stretching. And then exhale on over in the twist. Keep the weight on both feet still. Remember, lift the sitting bones, relax the arms. Take a moment to breathe. And then slowly in the twist, work your way back up. And again, heart high for that upper body back bend, elbows back. Shoulders still down. And don't forget, keep breathing. And then inhale and come upright. Exhale around to the center. Reach your arms up, keep your shoulders down, extended mountain. Sink into your feet evenly, spread out through the base of the toes, up through the crown. And then let's swan dive, so arms out to the side, chest and chin, lead gently to that halfway down position. Stretch the top of your head out and the chin slightly back, fingertips reaching out, sitting bones behind you. Stretch and drop into ragdoll. Take a moment, feel that low back, get a little extra stretch. If you want even more, hands behind your legs and pull in deeper. And then releasing your hands, slowly wind your way from the bottom of the spine all the way to the top again and into mountain pose. Feel your spine more activated, spread through your toes. We'll do our little balance practice. So toes spreading, base of the toes connecting. Remember, no gripping with the toes or that base of the toe connection gets messed up. Arch lifting the whole leg centered so that your ankle, knee, and toes, second toe are lined up with your shoulder. Get that core active. So remember, ribs toward your spine and up. Feel that spine being supported. And don't forget, shoulders always down. Spread the toes on your balanced foot and bring your other leg up. So we remember those inner thigh rotations to keep things aligned. Don't want that foot crossing over. Keep the foot low with your balance challenge today or bring it up. You can pull it all the way in even more if you love it. And then we'll work our ankle. So circle it one way, and then the other. Flex and point. And release. Feel that sensation of being totally grounded again at both feet. And take what worked on the first side, moving it to the second side for our balance on the other side. So again, toes straight ahead, everything lined up and core active for support. Shoulders back and down, ground to the ceiling. And when you're centered on that other foot, bring the foot you're lifting up as high as you want it to go. And again, pull it in if you love that and work your ankle so that we don't get stiff and old. Both directions circling, flexing and pointing for straightening things out and flexibility and bring the foot back down. Center into both feet evenly. Clasp your hands behind you and just some big circles with your hips. So go ahead and do as wide as you'd like on these circles to get that lower back a little stimulated. Knees and ankles working as well. And then stop and go the other direction with those circles to balance things out. Always working evenly on both sides in our yoga. Keep breathing. And then coming back into your mountain pose, just take a moment, feel the stimulation of working through your system. And we'll do our little pelvic tilts. So angle your toes slightly to the sides, bend your knees above your toes. Get those sitting bones going slightly back and bring your shoulders over your knees and toes. And then straighten your spine so you're stretching the sitting bones and crown away from each other. Heart open. And then go into your back bend. 
So push the sitting bones back in the chest even further forward. And as you drop those shoulders and shoulder blades slightly and look forward. And then exhaling, pull the sitting bones down and forward, the ribs back and look down to that space between your toes. So your shoulders, knees and toes stay basically in the same place as you work your spine into the back bend, breathing in into the forward bend, exhaling, getting that core a little bit more contracted as you do that as well. So working the whole pelvis through its forward and backward positioning, opening the heart and then contracting through the core as you do your range of motion, going through that whole spine working process. And then the next time you're in that forward position looking down, just pause a moment and then inhaling, stand back up, feet to the front into step, into mountain pose. So again, feeling your spine, breathing, and bringing your hands to your heart. And then looking at your hands, inhale, bringing them up toward the ceiling, keep looking at your thumbs, Stay there or back bend, bringing the thumbs back as you gaze up at your hands, lifting your heart even higher. Hips still over your ankles, head reaching maybe a little further back. And then exhale, follow your hands to your heart. Be in the process, don't rush. And then exhaling, come on all the way over into ragdoll again. Slide your hands up under your knees, press into your shins. Elbows, knees, and spine nice and straight. So that halfway up stretch really lengthens everything. And then exhale back down, arms toward the floor, hands toward the floor, palms together. Inhale again, bringing your hands to your heart slowly, processing all the way up toward the ceiling. Extend shoulders and shoulder blades. Remember, stay toward your waist, even as you look up toward your hands and lift that heart. And then again, a back bend if you love it, with those thumbs coming further back as you watch. And then watch your thumbs all the way down. And again, just dropping all the way into ragdoll. Pull in a little deeper with the hands behind your legs. Get a really good stretch on the back of your body as much as you'd like. And then releasing your arms. Again, hands just hanging this time, coming back up and into mountain pose. Feel your spine getting more activated and energized. And we're going to step wide. So whatever's comfortable for you for this one, we're just gonna do a twist. So bring your thumbs into that hip crease right at the top of your thighs. And then sitting bones push back just a little bit, chest and chin lean. And again, get that whole spine nice and straight, parallel to the floor-ish. And stretch it long. And then you can slide your hands down to your shins, or you can bring them to the floor under your shoulders. I mean, if you want to do that, but the floor is too far away, you can put blocks under your hands to raise the floor. And then we're going to keep that spine straight and open for a twist. So sitting bones and crown will reach away from each other. Keep the right hand on your leg or the floor. Bring that left arm out to the side and look at it. And then keep looking at it as we go up, turning your hips, ribs, and shoulder as you look up toward the ceiling with the whole body turning to the side into the twist. So whether your hand is still on your leg or on the floor, doesn't matter. Just do what's right for you. Go only as far into that twist as your body looks. Take a moment and breathe. If you love it, you can bring your hand to the opposite foot and that hand in the air further back for more twist. But you don't need to do that if that's not right for your body. And then bringing things straight up and down again, follow the hand back all the way down until your hand is under your shoulder or on the shin. 
And of course, we're going to twist to the opposite side. So remember, sitting bones one way, round the other way for that spine to be open to twist. Keep that opposite hand on the floor and bring the other hand out to the side. Again, stretch and straighten everything. Get ready for the twist and further into it as you turn your hips, ribs, and shoulder looking up. So you're not just turning your neck, remember. That whole body turns slightly to the side. Come into that as much as you like. If you like it even more, you can bring that hand to the opposite foot, pulling that hand in the air, letting your whole torso turn along with that arm going further. And then hands straight up and down again before we return to the floor and follow it along all the way down. And again, stretch and straighten. Lengthen your whole spine, shoulder blades towards your waist, sitting bones and crown reaching away, hands on the floor or your shins either way. And then we're going to bring the arms out to the sides. Keep that spine nice and straight, sitting bones and crowns stretching apart, fingertips reaching out. Come on all the way up and into star position. So energize your star out from your heart all the way through the five points. Palms toward the floor and release into mountain pose. Feel your spine getting more energy through it. Notice how you are responding as we go through all our process today. And then again, bring your hands into prayer. And then we're just gonna work the wrists a little bit. So keep your elbows out toward the sides, the palms just gently pressing together right in front of your heart. And then we're gonna push one hand into the other and let the wrist stretch as those fingers just come slightly toward the side. Keep those elbows as much even as you can. And then back to the center, and then push the other way just slightly. And again, keeping those elbows as much straight across as you can, just working the wrist just a little bit gently. And then back to the center, and tip those fingertips away from you and down toward the floor. Again, elbows as much straight, even with each other as you can. And then rotate those fingertips back upright and then toward you as far as they want to go. And then hands again going straight up and follow them toward the ceiling. And another just extension of the arms all the way up, looking at your thumbs. Pull those thumbs into your back bend if you love back bends, chest high and head and hands back. Exhale, follow those hands again to your heart and all the way over, coming into ragdoll. Lift the sitting bones, bring those hands up under your knees on your shins, stretch and straighten everything in that halfway up stretch. And then bend your knees and come to the floor into child's pose for our transition. Hips to your heels, hands, palms up, forehead down. Take a moment there, just breathe. Let those shoulders come forward, wrists releasing, and head relaxing. And on an inhalation, go ahead and sit up on your heels. Stay in that position if you would like, or you can come forward and tuck your toes under and work those toes a little bit coming into that kneeling position. And just take a moment there, breathe. Exhale, tension. If it's too much on the toes, remember you can always just flatten them back out. And if you need some padding, you can also use padding. And then shoulders and shoulder blades stay down, spine nice and straight, and bring one arm out. Hold the wrist down, or the fingers down, so that the back of the wrist gets a good stretch. Keep pressing out through that wrist area. And then pull the fingers back and push out through the heel of your hand. Elbows straight, shoulder relaxing down. 
and just get that wrist getting a good stretch across the heel of the palm. And then spread the fingers flat and move them one at a time down. Just getting a stretch on the back of your hand. And then pull them back and get a stretch across the palm as you come the opposite way. Spread the fingers out and shake. And then releasing that arm, just feel the difference both sides. If you need to release those toes, kind of swirl your ankles around, crunch the toes together, and either put them flat or tuck those toes under again while we do the other arm. So again, back into your straight position, elbows straight, palm down with that opposite hand. And again, we're gonna pull down first, back of the wrist getting a stretch. And then fingers pulling back the other way, heel of the palm pressing out, elbows straight, spine nice and supported. And again, spread the fingers out and work each finger as you go across. Just a gentle stretch and pulling it back, coming the other way, feeling the palm get more of a stretch and open. Spread those fingers and then shake it. And again, we're going to work those toes. So crunch them together and spread them apart. Move the feet around. And come into staff position. So sitting down slightly behind you. Knees and toes up toward the ceiling. And just allow your whole body to sink down into the sitting bones, up through the crown. Keep that core supporting your spine. And then just a gentle workout for the hips, just letting that knee come down as you bring the opposite foot to the thigh. Release and relax through the hip rotator. Let that knee come toward the floor. Remember, knee and toes up on the front leg or bring the leg over to the side, but still knee and toes up if you like that opening a little bit more through the hip. And then foot and knee into your hands or pull in and move that hip rotator to get it a little bit more lubricated. And if you love it, you can make the leg higher or closer, which is more intense. So if that hip on the outside, doesn't like that, but don't go too far. And then bringing that leg back out, readjust on your sitting bones if you need to, and we'll do the other side. So again, just letting the knee come as far toward the floor as it wants on this opposite leg. Knee and toes up on the front leg, or bring it over to the side, let that knee just go as far toward the floor as it wants. Remember, relax the muscles. That's when they are more likely to stretch a little bit for you. Don't tense and tighten. That makes it harder for the muscles to work. Take a few breaths there. Just relax. You can put your hand on the leg, but don't really press with it. That tenses and tightens. We want to relax it. And again, foot and knee into your hands or pulling it in and moving that hip rotator to get it a little bit looser as we get ready because we're going to be doing our diving dolphin today. So we want those hips ready to work. And again, either closer or higher if you want it a little bit more intense, but don't go there if that's not right for your body. Personal practice always in yoga. And then the leg comes back out into staff position. And just again, notice how your body responds as you're working that. Bringing your one foot into the inner thigh, knee out to the side. Just let it gently relax. Other knee bends and bring that heel in toward your hip, close to your hip as much as your body wants. That hip can be a little bit off the floor. That's perfectly okay. We're going to stretch the spine up through the crown and then turn toward the first knee bench. Hands on your leg or the floor, whatever's comfortable for you. <clears throat> and then ribs back, chin tucking in, exhale, going under the water, you're the dolphin. 
As you inhale, face goes forward and up toward the ceiling, lifting your heart to the sun and the sky. And just go through that motion as much as you'd like, exhaling down and inhaling up. So you're working those hips. You're also working that whole length of your spine and you're using your full breathing capacity. Exhaling, diving under. Remember, you're the dolphin. Inhaling, breathing in as you come to the sun and the sky, looking up. So you've got a nice little forward bend coming down and a nice little backward bend coming up as you lift that heart to lead towards the top. And again, just through that range of motion, as much or as gently as your body needs today. And then the next time you come up, pause at the top, get good stretch through everything, and exhale back to the center. Release your legs and your back in staff position. Sitting bones toward the back of you and crown toward the ceiling. Core active supporting your spine and we're doing it to the other side. So bring your foot to your inner thigh, knee out to the side again. Get comfortable there and then the opposite leg back, heel near your hip. Stretch the spine apart for the twist. Exhale, turn toward that leg. Again, hands where you like them. Ribs pulling back. Chin tucking slightly in as you dive under, exhaling. And then inhale, lifting your heart, coming into the back bend, coming up. Feel what's going on in your body as you dive under and as you arch up. Breathe with it, using your lungs to their full capacity. Just timing your movements to work with your breath. And as always, feel what's right for your body. Notice what's happening through your whole spine, through your whole lung capacity. As you breathe with your process, breathing in on the way up, exhaling down. Be your playful dolphin as leaping high and as diving deep as you like today. And again, on the inhalation coming up, pause at the top, and then exhaling, turning back, bringing your legs into staff position as you finish. Now we're gonna roll down onto our backs for our final brief twist before our relaxation. So come on to the mat. And bring your arms to T position. Palms up or down, your choice. We're just going to do our regular bent knee twist today. So sitting bones toward your heels and knees bending, bringing those heels right next to your hips, feet flat. Press your back down, get everything connected. Bring your feet up off the floor, knees right above your hips. Arms either, palms up or down. And then exhale, roll your knees to one side as you turn your head toward that opposite arm. And again, go as deep into your twist as your body likes today. Just relaxing, letting the knees go as far as they like. Feet to the floor for support if you need it, or a pillow under your knees if that helps. And again, just let that lower back twist as much or as little as it needs to. Shoulders and shoulder blades down for your middle back and head turning for that neck twist. So only go where your body needs to go. And then hips toward your, or heels toward your hips, rolling out to your back, getting ready to twist to the opposite side. And again, settle in, bring your feet to the floor if you need to straighten things out first. And then again, knees above your hips, and roll those knees to the side, right at hip level, coming as far into this side as you'd like. Head turning again toward that arm nail behind you. Maximize into your twist or minimize because it's a personal practice once again, doing what's right for you on this twist. Breathing, shoulders and shoulder blades down. 
You can have the hands palms down for a little more stability or palms up if you prefer. And again, knees down for your lower back, head for your turning for your neck twist and shoulders and shoulder blades giving your middle back a good twist, pressing down. And again, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back and bringing your feet to the floor, sliding them out and bringing your hands, palms up near your sides into corpse position, shoulders and shoulder blades down. And just let your whole body relax in corpse position as we get ready for our final relaxation. So focus inward, scan through your body. Lots of hips, torso work today. So just relax that whole area. A little bit in the wrists, in the ankles as well. So let everything just release. Breathe deep. Exhale and let your body melt. And just allow your body just to sink deeper with each exhalation. Going into that earth embrace as much as your body wants to do today. Relaxing all the tension, all the tightness. And with each breath, just let your body grow heavier and sink deeper. No need to think of your body, it's fully supported, just let it go. Now, as your body relaxes, know that you don't need to think of your body. Let those thoughts go as well. And as those thoughts disappear, other thoughts will come to your mind. It's always the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. Right at this moment, there's no need to. Remember the past, no need to anticipate the future. Just let those thoughts drift away as easily as your breath. Body relaxing, mind just drifting, just allowing everything to release completely. Allowing your awareness to forget your body and your mind and focus deeply inward. Find that peace within and just take a few moments being peace. And if you have time to stay relaxing longer today, feel free just to relax and focus inward as long as you like. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin breathing more deeply, moving your body gently whenever you're ready as you breathe more deeply, allowing energy and awareness back to the moment in the room in your body. Moving whatever needs to be moved gently. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, heels in toward your hips, and press your back down, letting your knees come up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work it does for you every day. And then release, roll to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for the rest of your day. Thanks for joining me.